Hey, look at this. TikTok, or excuse me, uh, hello, YouTube. <laughs> I said TikTok. Um, we're live. We are live with Tommy Technetium. I got some uh, rainbow indicators here. Let me go ahead and add a little bit of uh, bass to some of these indicators. A little bit of bass over here on the left. Look at that blue color develop. There it is. A little bit of a rainbow going on. Same over here on the right. Pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I've got uh, on both of these uh, stir bars, or excuse me, on these stir plates, I have um, water to which universal indicator has been added. Universal indicator is also known as rainbow indicator. So you can see all these different colors here that the universal indicator will uh, display at different pH values. So over here on the right, I'm gonna add a drop of base. You can see what'll happen to the color. It's a little beautiful effect. You see it shift to a blue. And of course that indicates a rise in pH, yeah. That violet color you see is telling us that the pH is up as high as 10. We'll do the same thing over here on the left. And sure enough, we see that same violet color develop. Looks like our pH is relaxed to about pH 8 over there on the right. I'm going to go ahead and add a bit more base to try to get that pH up a bit. Do the same over here. Yeah, we're at pH. Look at that violet color. Gorgeous violet color. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add some acid to both. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five drops of acid to both. And now you see the shift to red. Very cool. Pretty. Very pretty. All right. What do I want to do now? I think what I want to do now, I want to get both of these at sort of the same pH level. So this is slightly more acidic. Can you see it? This side on the right is slightly more acidic. It's a little more orange than the one on the left. I'm going to add a bit of base over here to try to get these to the same pH value. I'm also going to, let's see, there's a drop of base. Let's see what happens. See if that relaxes to the same yellow. Oh, looks like we got a green there. I'm going to pull this back just a bit. There we go. Add cesium hydroxide. I don't have any cesium hydroxide on hand there. Uh, HK, I don't have any of that. Yeah, that's about the same pH value. Now what we're going to do is to the one on the left, I'm going to add a tablet of Alka-Seltzer. So here we go. Let's add some Alka-Seltzer over here on the left. In it goes, Alka-Seltzer. Boom. Well, it looks like it turned acidic, right? That's probably from the aspirin that's in the Alka-Seltzer. Aspirin is an acid, and it's causing the pH to drop. But there's also a chemical reaction that's going on between citric acid and sodium bicarbonate that's in the Alka-Seltzer tablet. That's why you're seeing all the fizz is forming carbon dioxide. And I noticed that that red color is kind of fading. And we're getting to a uh, kind of back to the yellow color we had before. Pretty much. Yeah. So it's kind of like a, uh, a pH oscillation that happened there. Now what I'm going to do to both of these, I'm going to add three drops of base. Now remember, this one over here had the um, Alka-Seltzer tablet added to it, and this one didn't. So in goes three drops of base on the right. One, two, three. And we saw a color shift from yellow to violet, which represents a change in pH from 6 to 10. Because, well, it looks like it's going to maybe relax at 9. So that's a pH change from 6 to 9. Because the pH scale goes on powers of 10. Uh, you know, 6 minus, uh, excuse me, 9 minus 6, that's 3. So that's 10 times 10 times 10. That's a pH change, excuse me, an acidity change of 10, excuse me, of 1,000 times. 10 times 10 times 10, yeah, that's 1,000. So this is now 1,000 times more acidic than it was before. 
Now to this one over on the left, I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide. Same what I do, five drops. One, two, three, four, five. I see the violet color develop there in the middle. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens over time. And it just seems like the violet color disappeared. And that's because when you add Alka-Seltzer to water, it makes a buffer. And a buffer is just something that resists changes in pH. It's very obvious that that's what's going on. I'll go ahead and add acid now. So over here on the right, I'm going to add drops of acid. We started a blue color, which is pH 9. There's seven drops. And upon addition of seven drops, we change from a blue color to like a yellow color, maybe orange, maybe orange, which is a pH change of three to five. So that's a change in acidity of either 10 times 10 times 10 or 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So that's an acidity change of either uh, 1,000 or 10,000. So what I do, I add seven drops over here. Let's add seven drops to the buffered solution. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought there were seven drops, but I'll go ahead and add 10. Eight, nine, 10. And so our buffered solution, thank you there, uh, Jan Prey. I appreciate that. Uh, hey, no see, hello. So yeah, you can see as I'm adding the acid to this flask over here, the pH doesn't change a whole lot. It's a buffered solution. It's a very simple experiment to show the effect of a, of a, of a buffer. All right, let's add uh, how many drops over here? Another one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Man, we had a pH drop down to three over here. And on the other side, <laughs> add four antimonic acid. Not going to happen. Not going to happen, HC. <laughs> How you doing there, Caleb? Good to hear you. Good to hear from you. What's kind of fun, though, is these reactions take a little bit of time. The acid and base reacting with each other, it takes a bit of time. And so if I turn the speed down and I add base over here, we may be able to see the whole rainbow because it takes a bit of time. Hello there, happy star. So let's see if we can get the rainbow going. I'm going to add how many drops? One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we get the rainbow over there the elusive rainbow, and I think we did. It's really pretty. Hello there, yellow feet. Yellow feet, purple bananas. So we got yellow for you on the left, and I'm going to get purple for you on the right. Here we go. Yellow feet, purple bananas. This is for you. There you are. I think that's appropriate colors. What do you think for yellow feet, purple banana? Yeah? Yeah. I want to see if I can actually get the pH of the buffered solution to change. Let me just try that. So I'm going to add a crap ton of base. So here we go. Instead of adding drops, I'm going to add a big squirt. Oh, would you look at that? I added an enormous amount of base. And the, you're welcome there, yellow feet. And the pH only changed from 6 to 7 in our buffered solution. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Thank you there, Mark. Appreciate it. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to add some acid to both of these. So this is a pH 7. It's neutral. This is a very high pH. It's pH of 10. What's the main solution made of that you're adding base to? It's a universal indicator. Thank you there, Kane. It's universal indicator uh, added to water. So let's see over here. We're going to add, I don't know, 10 drops of acid. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to add 10 drops over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we started at a pH of 10 over here, and it looks like we're going to relax at a pH. Let me turn it up a little bit. Hello there, Sam. So we went from pH 10 to pH 6. That's a change in pH of 10,000, excuse me, change in pH of 4, which is a change in acidity of 10,000 times. It's freaking cool, man. Really cool. All right, now I'm going to add a big squirt of acid and a big squirt of acid. Very cool. 
Very cool. All right, let's add some bass. Sounds like my wife's home. I need to go up and see her. She's had a, a long day of work, so I'm going to call it quits here soon. Let's add, uh, I don't know, five drops. One, two, three, four, five, and five drops. So, yeah, you're just seeing the difference between a... Oh, boy. Uh, let's add a bunch more. Five drops over there. Five drops over there. There we go. There we go. Well, hey, thanks for joining me this afternoon. It was a good time hanging out with you, doing a couple experiments. I will tell her hello, Caleb. You all have a great afternoon or, or day or night or evening or wherever it is, and thanks for joining with me to do a little bit of uh, live science on Tommy Technetium's YouTube channel. Incredible psychedelic colors. I'm a chemistry student. I really appreciate, give appreciation of the pH changes. Like, Thanks there, uh, Jan Pearl. I appreciate it. Thanks for the comment, and we'll be seeing you around. Y'all consider subscribing and uh, share the word. Thank you there, Mark. Consider sharing the word about my channel. We're trying to make it to a half million, and I think we got a shot of getting there. So thanks, you all, for being here, and we'll see you around. So long.